What is up, Gemini? Happy February 2020. Uh, this is Valkyrie Tarot coming at you for your Love and Soul May reading for the first half of um, February. Wow, I'm totally blanking out. Uh, <laughs> I hope, my friends, that you have had a really good February. I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm sorry, let me get some tea here. Oh my god, my brain literally just stopped working. Don't you hate when that happens? All right, Gemini. Um, this is for your sun signs out there. Moon, rising, and Venus. Welcome to the month of love. Now is the time to figure out, will you or will you not have a date on Valentine's Day? Hopefully you guys do. Hopefully your reading comes out well. Uh, some of these have been a little questionable. All right, we got the King of Swords. So someone... Um, who makes a just decision, okay, this is, um, sorry, Aquarian energy right here, could be someone in law enforcement, they always speak the truth, we have the five of cups, feeling disappointed about love or something, and then the four of cups, feeling bored and or letting someone get away. All right. Let me just tell you, Jen, some of these readings I've been doing, have been a little interesting so let's hope you have a good one because I have a lot of friends that are Gemini's and believe me when I tell you I want my friends to have a good February here we go first card is you justice Libra and energy a truth being spoken <laughs> fairness law justice next is your loved one Seven of Cups in reverse. So, removing the mask. Sorry, you guys can't see that, can you? Removing the mask, um, no longer hiding behind something, being uh, becoming authentic, being authentic in oneself, not being confused. Next is the energy between the two of you. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. So, this is a movement towards stability but is a very slow movement this is the knight that always gets to where he wants to go very very driven very committed does not waver okay the challenge is the king of cups oh hello scorpio how are you this is someone who is, knows what they want they're very open about their relationships they're very open about how they feel they're very committed they're very stable in their emotions and unwavering. So you have two very strong, very, very strong committed cards right here. The blockage. It's the Eight of Cups. Not wanting to walk away. Not being able to leave something behind also is another way to read that. Past situation currently influencing you, Gem, is the Three of Wands. Waiting for something to happen. Waiting for your ships to come in. And for your loved one, is the magician in the past, someone who has been manifesting or is able to manifest their destiny um, to get what they want. They are confident. They are able to um, inspire others. They have all the tools that they need, basically. You know, um, this is also Virgo energy right here. Next is the outcome from your point of view. The Empress in reverse. Okay. Divine Feminine Energy. Uh, the Empress is Venus, uh, represents the actual planet, okay? But this is the mother of the Zodiac, okay? When we see it in reverse, we see someone who is a little codependent, someone who's selfish, someone who's really just focused on themselves rather than someone else. Outcome from your loved one's point of view is the Knight of Wands, okay? Sagittarian energy. Um, Knight of Wands is someone who... Again, knights are action, okay? So knight of wands in reverse is someone who doesn't want to make that offer towards passion. Like, they just, it's not worth it for them to even dip their wick. You get what I'm saying? Overall outcome, we have the uh, ace of wands in reverse. Okay, more fire energy here. Not wanting a new passionate beginning with something where the passion is fizzling out. Energy of the deck is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So someone who is no longer playing it close to the chest, 
also someone who might be a little too free about themselves as well. They might be sharing too much um, with others. That's another way to read that card. All right, let's get some confirmation here. Tell me about this justice card here for Gemini. Two of swords and the five of wands, all right. So justice meaning coming to a agreement, I guess. Two of swords, Libra and energy, this is about being in a stalemate, about conflicts. So there has been some conflict in your life or in your past, and you just don't know what to do about it. You don't know how to handle it. Seven of cups over here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so not having a stable new beginning. And the moon in reverse, so something being revealed here. Cancerian and Pisces energy right there. All right. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the Six of Cups. So children could be involved and or this could be a past life type of situation. Six of Cups um, has a lot to do with someone from the past coming in, either in this life or if you believe in past lives. This could be a soulmate, um, twin flame type of situation. Six of Cups can also sometimes mean an apology. Okay, so just clarifying that. It could be any of the above. Take what resonates. King of Cups is the Ten of Wands. The burden is over. They are done carrying whatever their grief is, their load is. And uh, the Six of Wands, they've put their ego on the back burner. Ego is not part of this. They've gotten over everything. Um, they're very confident where they are and how much they love and how much they feel. Um, and their ego just isn't part of it. Might have been a little hurt in the past, but um, they're done carrying their load. They're done. So they are, if they have done carrying the burden, they're able to move forward confidently and stably. Um, so the Eight of Cups in reverse is being clarified by Temperance in reverse. So not being able to leave something behind. Um, but Temperance is Sagittarian energy, and it's about being impatient, not being able to find balance. Then we have the King of Wands over the top. King of Wands um, is Leo energy. This is a very brave person. This is a very confident person. This is someone who comes in, says what they want, does what they want, gets what they want. Okay, very close to the, uh, the emperor type of energy. Oops. Too many. Sorry, guys. That was the um, Hierophant that popped up, though. Ten of Swords over here um, in reverse. So whatever has been painful, whatever has been hurtful in the past, that's what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting to get over your hurt, your pain with whatever the situation was. What is this Ten of Swords about? Yeah, because you need to be stronger. You need to have more courage to move forward with something. The Magician, Seven of Wands. Someone is not being defensive about anything. They're able to just see things clearly and, and talk on an even level. Um, and then we have the hangman in reverse, actually, though. But they're still having difficulty seeing things from a different point of view. Pisces energy. It's this Empress card up here. King of Swords again. Okay, so King of Swords. Uh, sorry, that's been popping out a lot around here. King of Swords in reverse. It's Aquarius. King of Swords is someone who is in law enforcement or a judge, um, very similar to justice, okay, but more male energy. When we see it in reverse, we see someone who does not have control of their wit. Um, they make decisions based on what they want, not what's best for other people. Very selfish, and they can actually be very manipulative with their energy, okay? Knight of Wands, clarified by the High Priestess. Okay, High Priestess is someone who is hiding something. Again, Cancerian energy over here. Um, this is someone who has a lot of intuition and a lot of knowledge, but sometimes they can be hiding things. This is, this is the partner to the Magician right here, okay? She's able to manifest what she wants, but she's also able to see through people, okay? So you might... Uh, your loved one might be someone who just has a very high level of intuition. They might say things or bring up things to you, and you're like, how the F does that person know that? I never told them. Did somebody tell them? Shit. They just know because they might be psychic. So um, if we're talking about a water sign, uh, it's really common in water signs, just to let you know. 
right. Knight of Wands over here. So Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. Your loved one is deciding not to have this passionate new beginning right now. Why is that? Why are we not having a passionate new beginning? Cancerian energy all over the place here. Maybe you're on a cusp. You might be Gemini, um, Cancerian cusp, or you might have Cancer in your chart somewhere. Uh, trying to move forward, okay? Trying to move ahead, leave the past behind. Again, because there was no offer, there was no action in the past. They, they wanted, they wanted commitment. Okay. King of Pentacles, ultimate sugar daddy right there. Uh, the King of Pentacles is Taurus. This is someone who knows how to run their house. They're well off. They're stable financially, emotionally, physically. Okay. They're someone who they want, you want to build a home with. Okay. Very similar to the, you know, the Queen of Pentacles here. Slow moving though. Slow moving, very patient. So what I'm seeing here is that perhaps you thought that this other person was confused or being inauthentic, caused a lot of arguments and drama in the past. The other person um, was very open about how they felt, it looks like. There was an offer to move forward with the relationship. There's love here. Very stable love, very like concrete, solid. This person wants you. You weren't able to walk away from each other because of this past life connection here. But it looks like whatever happened is there's a resistance here. There's a resistance towards being together for some reason. And it seems like you didn't feel like you had what it took, Gemini and they weren't able to see things from your point of view. They were perhaps being impatient. They wanted things to move faster than they were. They wanted commitment. They wanted things to move ahead. And you might've talked about this commitment. You might've talked about your feelings, but when it came to acting on it, you didn't do anything. You didn't act, okay? So they're basically calling you out on it. And they're like, until you act, we're not going anywhere. You know? All right, let's get three cards here from the Spirits of Darkness and Light from Mystic Moon. We have Spirit of the Moon, Cycles, Visions, and Dreams. So you might be getting some answers in your dreams. Pay attention to those. Get like a dream journal out. Spirit of the Wind, Activity, Movement, and Disruption. So this is almost like the Tower card. Something is coming your way that's really going to shake and rattle you. And it's going to make you open your eyes to this relationship here. Spirit of time, illusion, endless, and waiting, okay? Tower moment's coming. Pay attention to your dreams. And it's basically the universe saying that when the time is right, it'll happen. So you can't really force this relationship to move any faster than it is. Can I get a message from Gemini's loved one to them for first half of February? I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. So your loved one might be kind of bogged down with work. Uh, maybe they're helping out with their family. Maybe they're going through something right now. So they can't really dedicate the time that they need to fix this relationship. Um, but it doesn't mean that they can't come back to it. Again, time is of the essence. You know what I mean? You just got to wait to see it play out. Can I get three cards from the Romance Angels here? Three cards. Advice for Gemini. One. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want to do. The moment is now. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So you might feel like things have been out of control lately. It, the universe is telling you to ground yourself, pull yourself back in, um, kind of get back into your reality. Gemini, you're an air sign. So sometimes um, you can kind of get trapped up in your own head. Step back into reality. Put your feet back on the ground. Feel the grass. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? Your loved one is the magician and the high priestess. They're manifesting you. If they want you, they've probably brought you to their life. And they're not going to give up on that too easily. You know what I'm saying? All right. 
Gemini, I hope this resonated with you. Please like, share, and subscribe if it did. If it didn't, it's totally all right. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Deuces.